Hi everyone, and welcome to City Kids Online. Hey, if it's your first time watching, we're so glad you're here. Hey, you wanna see something pretty neat? Yeah, sure, what? So, look, look at that hole, see that? Uh, yes. Y you see how big that is? About three inches? Yeah, so that's probably about three inches. I, you know what, I'm gonna poke my head through that hole. Uh, really? I don't, I don't think you can do that. You don't think I can do it? No, not without some serious surgery. Mm -mm. Okay, well, watch this. <sighs> you see? I'm doing it. I bet you, bet you didn't think I could do that. Nope, I didn't expect that. You got me on that one. <laughs> Pretty amazing, right? Well, on my list of amazing things, that didn't cut it. Well, you didn't no. think I could do it though. No, I didn't think you could do it. But speaking of amazing things, we've got some really amazing things to see today. Well, what, what do you mean? Well, our Bible story today is going to show a situation where some of Jesus' disciples see something they never could have imagined. We'll hear all about that in a minute. Hey, let's go over our big picture question. Oh yeah, I, I think I remember this. You do? Yeah, so uh, why did okay. Jesus perform miracles? Great job. How about that answer? All right, uh, let me see. Um, Jesus performed miracles to glorify God. Uh, yes. To show he is the son of God and to care for people. Again, great job. Boys and girls, Jesus did many amazing things and the disciples were trying to decide who Jesus really was. As we watch today's Bible story, be on the lookout for the answer to that question. Who is Jesus? This is gonna be good. Check this out. One day, Jesus led three of his disciples, Peter, James, and John, up on a high mountain to pray. The disciples fell fast asleep. As Jesus prayed, his appearance suddenly changed. His face was shining like the sun, and his clothes were as white as the light. The disciples woke up and saw Moses and Elijah talking with Jesus. Peter said, Lord, it is good for us to be here. If you want, I will set up three tents here, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. While Peter was still speaking, a bright cloud suddenly covered them. A voice from the cloud said, this is my beloved son with who I am well pleased. Listen to him. The disciples heard this and fell face down. They were terrified. Jesus came up and touched them. Get up, he said. Don't be afraid. When the disciples looked up, they did not see Moses or Elijah anymore. They only saw Jesus. As they were coming down the mountain, Jesus said to them, Don't tell anyone what you saw until the Son of Man is raised from the dead. The disciples did not tell anyone, but they wondered what Jesus meant. They asked him, why do the scribes say that Elijah must come before the Messiah comes? Jesus explained that Elijah had already come. That is, a prophet like Elijah had come. The people did not recognize him as a prophet and they mistreated him. Jesus said, in the same way, the Son of Man is going to suffer at their hands. Then the disciples realized Jesus was talking about John the Baptist. Jesus showed his glory to Peter, James, and John. Jesus said he would die, rise from the dead, and return to heaven. One day, Jesus will come back to earth in his glory to make all things new. That's incredible. You know, I'm pretty sure that I would have reacted the same way Peter, James, and John did. I would have been afraid to see Jesus glowing like he did. I know. And to think about seeing Moses and Elijah too, what a special moment. You know, I think that question we talked about before the Bible story certainly got answered. So what do you think? Who was Jesus? Well, if Peter, James, and John had any doubts about who Jesus was, I think that changed. He was not just the Son of Man, but the Son of God. Jesus is the Messiah. Jesus healed the sick. 
He commanded storms to go away. He walked on water. And in our story today, he glowed and spoke with heavenly visitors. Even God the Father's voice spoke out and said, this is my son with whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. You know, Jesus is everything. He's all powerful and he's our only savior. He proved that in today's story. He sure did. So while we are thinking about who Jesus is and the amazing things that he's done, let's check out our memory verse. So remind me, where is it found? Oh, it's found in Psalms chapter 40, verse five. Oh, yeah. Lord, my God, you have done many miracles. Your plans for us are many. Let's, let's do the motions on that. All right, here we go. Lord, Lord my God, God you, you have, have done, done many miracles. miracles. Your plans, plans for, for us are many. many. Psalms 45. Man, that's so true. God has done so many things for us. Yes, and he continues to do great things for us. You know, kids, Jesus is a miracle working God and all those things we see in the Bible that we've heard about are true. And yep. he still does miracles today. He we does. just have to believe in him. It's a great point. You know, we should pray about that. I agree with that. Kids, if you need Jesus to meet a need or do a miracle in your life, let's pray about that right now. Pray with me. Lord, you're the same yesterday, today, and forever. And Jesus, I pray that those that are praying with me, you'll do a miracle for them. Lord, if they have a need, if they're sick, make them well, Father. If they're having trouble, help them, Lord. God, we just ask you to move on their behalf. And we thank you in Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Hey, thanks again for watching today. Don't forget to check out the activities on our website at citypointchurch.com slash citykids. Hey, we'd also love to hear from you. So send us an email at castile at citypointchurch.com. Hey, have a great week. We'll, we'll see, see you guys later. soon.